All right, and welcome back. Well, earlier in the program, we heard from Common Ground volunteer Carol Swan about food safety. And now Carol is back with a recipe to share, and Karen is joining her now with more. May 1st, it is rhubarb season. If you go to farmer's markets, you're probably gonna see a lot of rhubarb. Carol, you said thanks to the rain, you have tons of rhubarb. Right, oh yeah. It just went like from this big to this big. It exploded. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're looking for some good recipes yes. for rhubarb, and this is a rhubarb muffin. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, where'd you find the recipe? Uh, my sister-in-law shared it on Facebook, and she's pretty privy on good recipes, better okay. than I am. So it's probably a good one. Yes. All right, how yes. do we begin? Okay, well, we'll start. If you want to stir a little bit, we have a okay. fourth a cup of softened mm -hmm. butter, just a half a stick there, mm -hmm. and uh, some sugar, and then we'll add an egg. We just try to uh, add all the wet ingredients together, and okay. beans were have to go fast here. Yeah. Now, would you use a mixer for this or not? Uh, no, not really. Just okay. just kind of hand mix because you kind of want it to be a little bit lumpy. That's true. You never want uh, yeah muffins to be over mixed. Right. And then you got sour cream, and this sour cream seemed to be mm -hmm. something that really added added to it. Uh, I think. I don't know, there's something about sour cream. It's kind of like cream cheese, you know, you can't go wrong. It makes it moist. Can't yeah. go wrong no matter what. Okay. So then we'll add the rhubarb. The rhubarb has been in like two, ta it's a cup and a half, or a cup and a fourth of rhubarb in two tablespoons of brown sugar, and then you just let it set a little bit. This set all night because I cut my rhubarb. And you up. want some of that juice in there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we'll uh, put the salt, cinnamon, and uh, baking, baking powder in with the mm -hmm. flour. Give it a give it a little whirl here okay. and then we'll dump it in and then just kind of stir it gently it can be lumpy and okay. then you put it in your I usually spray muffin tins you can use paper and then you bake it at 350 for 22 minutes worked for me okay and until the toothpick comes out clean and then we have a streusel topping I mixed it up last night but it's butter brown sugar flour and a little cinnamon and you can use you know crumble it with a fork or with your uh, biscuit cutter okay. thing. So then just pour it in. Yeah, we'll pour one in and then we'll put okay. some uh, streusel on top. And just sprinkle it with your yes. hand? Yes, yeah, just sprinkle okay. it on there and then bake it. And it's they're delicious and uh, kind mm -hmm. of a fun thing about rhubarb, if you have excess of rhubarb, you can just dice it, mm -hmm. cut it up fine and put a little sugar in it and it freezes and it'll last. I've been using, trying to use up some that was over a year old mm. in my freezer that got buried. And I thought, ooh, I've got new rhubarb, I better use up the old. That happens, so about a year yeah. you can store it. Yeah, okay. you can, and it'll work, but it freezes really well. This is very good, I love rhubarb. These are nice and moist, mm -hmm. very good muffins. You'll find the recipe on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page. Give them a try for yourself, they are so good. Carol, thanks so much. Thank you so much for All having right. me. Back to you, John.